Hey Art Nerds! So this is the first full video I've recorded in my new studio. I'm actually working on recording a studio setup vlog and then I'm going to do a studio tour once it's done. But this is, I would say, 85% finished, mostly working on getting the lighting finished today. And I'm starting way back here so you guys can see my current lighting situation because it is very relevant to today's review. So we have some yellow above light and we've got a couple of natural daylight lamps and I want you guys to keep in mind this is not the finished lighting situation for this studio so today we're gonna take a look at the Bauer 8 inch selfie ring light studio with 51 inch extendable tripod and phone holder I purchased this at Walmart for about $30 and what inspired me to buy this is we're not allowed to put our own stuff up on the walls. Cannot put any holes in these walls. And there is some existing art here, which is all well and good. But, you know, normally what we might do, I have a about a two foot LED bright white uh, garage lamp that would work a treat hanging above the table, but can't use that. So I thought this might give us some not nailed to the wall uh, useful stuff and I have another video coming up where we're gonna make a LED light wall that you can hang on your wall that is removable so keep an eye out for that but today we're taking a look at the Bauer 8 inch selfie ring light studio so since today's product is kind of a big one and it's not really something you use on your tabletop but you use on your wall, we're going to experiment with uh, different recording situations to find just the right angle. So this is a fairly large product, even in box. It comes with a ring light, a phone holder, and a tripod. What interested me most about this was the ring light and the tripod. Ring lights can be kind of expensive on Amazon, and I wanted to see if this one would work for kind of what I'm looking for. Um, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Now, it also comes with an expandable tripod, so that's gonna go behind the desk here. And it has a wireless on-off remote. Now, you can get these on Amazon really cheap. I've thought about getting them, but I don't need it just to take photos. I need it to start and stop the recording. Maybe there's some setting I can tweak to uh, make sure that happens. It also says ultra wide range, so I guess this casts a lot of light. And it has 72 LEDs, and this is an LED power ring light, in case I haven't mentioned that. The tripod extends from just 14.5 inches to 51 inches. Comes with the remote, 72 LEDs. And then there's some more on the back and they're really trying to appeal to like beauty YouTubers or like obviously here in this. And what's nice about a ring light is it casts even light with few shadows. So I thought ring lights could be great for us art YouTubers. So 8 inch selfie ring light studio with 51 inch extendable tripod and phone holder. You are the creator. The Bauer 8 inch selfie ring light kit transforms your smartphone into a professional photo studio. Make videos at night or take great selfie in dark areas. Great for creating live videos with smartphone or computer. Perfect for vlogging, live videos, video chats, social media, live streaming, health and beauty and more. Features. Make videos at night or take great selfie in dark areas. Great for, wow, that is literally just this. Okay, we'll skip that. Dimmable LED ring light has 72 LEDs for long lasting brightness. Choose from three light colors and nine level brightness within each mode. Easy control on cord to power on, off, or swoof. <laughs> Sorry, the writing here is taking a minute to parse. Uh, da -da -da, or switch to the lighting mode you prefer. This ring light makes every photo and video look more professional. Compatible with most smartphones. Mo well, sorry, sorry. Compatible with most of smartphones. As long as your phone's width is between 2.3 to 3.6 inches. Extra padding to keep your phone secure and protected while in use. So, as they mentioned, this could be really useful for vlogging. So, for my fellow art channels that like to vlog in addition to creating art content, this could be good for us. 
adjustable tripod stand, extendable from 14.5 inches to 51 inches, just lock it at desired length as you need, which makes it a possibility to be used as a folded table tripod or stand it on the floor. The tripod stand itself can be used as a selfie stick and phone tripod. USB powered, no oh boy. So I guess I'm gonna plug this into, okay. So this could be, this has pros and cons since it uh, doesn't plug into the wall. You can plug it into a battery backup and take it when you go. And there's no batteries needed for it so you can plug it into your computer as well. Uh, like laptop, power bank, USB charger, etc. Wireless remote shutter allows you to control your phone and snap hands-free photos. It is Android and iOS compatible. And then they have some social media. They have an Instagram. They have a Facebook. They have a Twitter. And then they have a website. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I've been in the market for a ring light for a while, and F-Stoppers reviewed one that I'm much more interested in. Uh, it's the one that has like these extendable, removable arms, so it kind of looks like the sun. Oh, oh, it smells like somebody's smoking. So it smells like someone, oh, I wonder if this was a used product. I am a little concerned about that now. So we'll find out. Okay, so here is the box. It is, now completely empty and smells of cigarettes, which is great. Let me pause the recording. And I apologize for the wiggling back and forth. I'm using a gooseneck clamp for this. So this is the tripod. This just came off in my hand. I think it's supposed to have a screw normally because I think something attaches to this. But uh, I think this was returned used and not in great condition either. So that's kind of a shame. And then the tripod is pretty stiff, so you can loosen it. And give me a sec. I'm sorry if uh, I'm going to talk about the smell of the cigarette smoke bothering me a lot. I lost my dad to lung cancer. He was a smoker for many years, so this is something that does actually bother me. Um, it also triggers my asthma, so it's kind of a, a two-prong problem. Okay, oh, okay, so you can intolin it like this, or you could even hold it like that. This is kind of a, a big thing, so I may have to change the camera angle again. Because I want to show you guys this thing, and then you can make it smaller. So that's the tripod base. This is the LED ring light, and then there's accessories in here. So let's hope that the screws for this are in here. So let's take a look at the ring light. Yeah, wow, it really does smell like cigarette smoke. So it is fairly cheap looking, but you know, for $30 for a ring light, cheap is what you're probably going to get. And it slots into something down here. Theoretically, you could probably hang or tape this to your wall if it is your wall or if where you're renting doesn't mind you putting stuff up on the wall. And then I guess this is the screw base and maybe it screws in here. I don't know. I can kind of see why this was returned. Yeah, look, there's a knot in this. Thanks, Walmart, for totally not marking this as returned goods okay so now this box is empty so i'm going to put that to the side as well and we've got this final box here i don't know maybe this isn't returned because all of this whoop, sorry about that y'all looks to be still wrapped okay oh okay and there's no instructions yeah, what? Why? Hang on, y'all. Yeah, there's no instructions. Awesome. All right, well, that's a, a ding. So what we're looking for is to set up something that looks like this. I'm going to get everything kind of laid out and change the angle for you guys. Okay, I'm going to try not to get my butt in the picture too, too much, but you guys can kind of see the hole. So we have our ring light and this, you could use this even without the tripod because everything about it is in one piece. 
We also have a remote on here. So on and off, I guess brighter, darker, and then to switch the different modes. So I'm gonna plug this in. I actually have a, a USB on my keyboard, so we'll see. Okay, well the USB on my keyboard isn't enough power. That's okay. Y'all let me know when it turns on. Maybe it's not. It's okay. Oh boy, oh boy. So it does light up. Woo! And then let's do the different modes. So we have really warm, we have sunlight, and then we have cool light. And then we have dimmer. And then we have brighter. So it's a ring light. This thing actually works all right. I gotta not look directly at it. And I'm gonna plug it in on this, my keyboard, and pay attention. So it is actually getting enough power even from the keyboard. So I could run it through straight back like that. Okay, so this thing here, right? Okay. Tripod, we can tighten this. And then it's supposed to, aha, uh -huh. ooh, look, okay. Y'all see this? So it telescopes and you twist it and it supposedly loosens and then you twist it the other way and it supposedly tightens. I'm gonna remove that just for now. And uh, Okay, I can't get it to extend all the way. So I may have to ask an adult, AKA Joseph, to help me with that. This is the phone mount. So, oh, okay. It's got like a, a little clamp on it. Okay, I can see that breaking. And uh, so this, and then you force it closed like that. It's a little bit fiddly, but I mean, I paid 30 bucks for it, and these things are usually way more expensive. And then they have another phone clamp because, of course, I have like a million of these. We also get a ball joint, assumably to connect to the ring light somewhere. Oh, okay, okay. No assembly instructions, so you do the best you can with what you got. And we have, sorry, there we go. So it's kind of like a tripod, like it's a threaded thing, like a tripod. I'm still not seeing what goes in the bottom. We have the remote. It's pretty standard, like all the free remotes. We do have this little brass piece here. Sorry about that. Which probably goes in here. I wanna make sure I do it the right way because it does seem to be sided, okay. So that direction threads onto this. And then this, probably something, something, tuppity tup tup. I don't know. Aha, okay, I got it, I got it now. Now, can we unscrew this without it just pulling the brass thing out? No, we can't. So, that's going to be a failure point at some point. And this screws in to, uh, you could probably glue this in. You could probably like E600 it. This screws into this, and then this goes onto that. And then this tightens this. So we do actually have all the pieces we need. And then this thing, what do you do? I want you to rotate. Okay, it does. It's on a ball socket. So I'm a horizontal landscape or a horizontal person myself in terms of like I record with my phone horizontal. So it would go like this. All right. And then I don't know why we got another one of these other than they felt like they owed it to us. Okay, so I have Joseph in here. So this thing is supposed to telescope and the way it telescopes is you twist it to unlock and then you, ah, oh, of course it does it as soon as I get you in here, it wasn't telescoping. Never mind. I don't know what was wrong with it. And then you twist it to lock it. And I guess you twist this one to lock it too? Okay. So, 
that is not super tall. Okay, so I want to get this thing set up. So I'm going to have a light here, and I was kind of hoping to have it down here. So what I want to do is I'm going to just thread it through, and then I'm going to go down. Well, maybe I want to... Hmm. Thinking about how I want to do this. Okay, so that, and then this, and that's going to adjust how much it tightens. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, extend the feet on it. So I'll be right back. Actually, hmm, I'm going to dress so I don't really want to point the camera down. I don't know. Bowie, would you like to be on camera? Well, actually, I cannot with my gooseneck clamp. I can't really turn it so that you guys can see it. So just know that Bowie is there. And that I'm down here on the floor. All right, I want it fairly tall, but I still want it stable. So what's neat is you can adjust the tripod legs on this by tightening a screw. And they will kind of, so they don't have to be all the way down. Okay, I think that's pretty sturdy. It's a little, no. If you put any pressure on it, it goes down. Oh, yeah. Man. This, this is not a permanent studio solution. Just, just keep that in mind. Not a permanent studio solution, y'all. Okay. Alright, so, it's in the corner behind my speaker. Oh, I should have attached the camera. The camera mount, which is kind of neat. Let me move this. So, where the camera mount wants to go is way down lower on this thing. So, it's not going to let me do it way up here. Also, this thing keeps wanting to collapse on itself. Telescope in my foot. You can't even do it up here. All right. Okay. All right. This is, so what I wanted to do, let me explain it to y'all while I'm here before I move on to plan B. What I wanted to do is I was hoping it was, it would be taller. 51 inches. I'm five something. So I guess I'm 60 inches tall. So, uh. I thought it would be about 10 inches shorter than me, so I thought I'd come to about here. And if you count the ring light, it's still kind of short. But what I wanted to do is provide nice, even lighting. I mean, ideally, you have this thing here, so like your, your phone or whatever your camera is. Can y'all see that? No. Let me adjust it. You can see my road mic stand. Oh, these gooseneck clamps are terrible. Ah, sorry, y'all. I'm so glad that didn't drop. This is real professional recording on my end right now. Anyway, I'll move it down so you guys can see. I ideally I would have a ring light right here so that when I'm recording, it's casting light and I could maybe have less harsh shadows. But my second thought was to have it on the wall. I mean, I'm gonna make a light board and I'm gonna have a tutorial on how to do that soon. But, um, I don't know. These things always look so much better in the store than they actually are, right? I'm glad I didn't spend $200 on this. These things tend to be kind of expensive on like Amazon. All right, so I'm gonna unplug this because it needs to spin. I was thinking I might have to do this on my desktop which I've been really trying not to have stuff on the desktop which is what one of the reasons I bought this and now I'm finding out that it just kind of does what it wants when it wants and smells of someone else's cigarettes and people 
people think this is a glamorous job. Oh, of course, now when I want it to collapse, it doesn't want to collapse. Ugh. Okay. I got it. Alright. You know, that was overly mm -hmm. ambitious anyway. Another thing is it takes up a fair amount of footprint on my desk. So I really don't want it on my desk. Now, they did say you could use it as a, as a selfie stick because I, I definitely see myself just walking around holding this, taking selfies as I go. Um, it's just kind of a weird, weird animal. Now the feet are rubber tip, but they still want to kind of slip. Okay, you can mostly see it now. All right, so this is the phone clip. I have it set for the horizontal iteration. Oh man, y'all don't tell Joseph this thing's a piece of garbage because uh, I'm gonna never hear the end of the I told you so's. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's the phone clamp. And then you would put the, your phone there so you could record yourself while the light's shining at your face. Because y'all can totally see that. My face, that is. And then I'm going to adjust this. I don't want to shine the light in y'all's faces. Hey, it's me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I didn't really want to be on camera, but I guess that's where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. So this thing connects up here. The The base for this thing is not great. The ring light itself is okay. I wouldn't say it's like 30 dot wood. Sorry. Uh, several things are just not as, wow, okay. So the little brass fitting I showed you guys earlier, it just popped out of the ring light again. So you're going to want to glue that. Once you figure out the correct orientation for it, you're going to want to glue that. If you even want to use it. Also, the ball joint it's on, you could have it pointing down like on your art. So what you want to do if you're recording art is you want as few cast shadows as possible. Which is why when I'm finished lighting this studio, it's going to look like one of the Lutcher bonfires on the levee. It's just going to be a lot of light. I used to joke that my other studio was as bright as the sun, and this one is going to be as bright as the sun also. So This also is taking longer to set up than I expected, uh, mostly because the build quality on this thing is about what you'd expect for 30 bucks from Walmart. And I can see why the other person returned it, uh, they were probably, they probably, they didn't even get to unboxing the other stuff. So for all I know, it was some well-meaning Christmas present from a grandmother who was like, oh, I heard you like to do the YouTubes when, uh, the grandchild is actually like a streamer, like a game streamer, not like a face streamer or a beauty streamer or a vlogger or an art YouTubist. This isn't my final studio setup either. So, uh, it also hits this point. So you have a little clip on this thing that you tighten. There we go. So it hits this point where, so I think, I think I don't like this thing. trying to solve my studio lighting problems and uh, also like recording problems and I like sharing this with you guys because there's a lot of people I know who would like to start recording their stuff for YouTube but I have seen so many artists and I've been this artist myself 
where the light quality in their videos is not really, really good enough to be watchable, you know? Um, and in my other studio, some of my lights started to die right before we moved. So I was part of that problem myself. Okay. I mean, it's all catawampus. It's really hard to get this tight enough because it just tightens at one point, so the back leg wants to slip. But if you have it all splayed out, then it's not as tall as you might want. And uh, it just takes up a lot of room, as you guys can kind of see. So it's a little annoying, frankly. And see, I could put it here, but then it takes up my whole side table. So that's not really what I want. I don't have a lot of space in this studio, so I want to utilize it. And also, I don't want it like right here because I've already got an okay lamp. But that's on me. Me figuring out where I'm going to put this, that's a, that's a Becca problem. Not a y'all problem and not a review problem. So, the remote is attached to this. So, the only thing that's Bluetooth about this thing is the freebie foam remote that they threw in. I mean, you can get these a dime a dozen and no instructions. There are no instructions with this. I don't know if the original owner of this thing threw the instructions away or before they returned it to Walmart or what. But this remote is, they don't even have instructions on how to use the remote. So it doesn't stop and start recording. It just stops and start taking photos. Now I may be able to adjust, gosh, this thing's built like garbage. I'm a, I'm a fiddle with this later, but I'll show you guys. So it's just this, not anything good or exciting, you, you get them free. That's the first time I've ever gotten one like that, but I've gotten like a million of these bonus clamps free. I've got a wall of them over there. Anyway, I wanted to plug this in and show you guys what it looks like. So that's on, that's real bright, okay? And you can kind of see what the different colors do. For the lighting in the room. And then, of course, every time you turn this thing off and on, you got to adjust the brightness and the quality. So you're spending time fiddling with it, too. Actually. Okay, so we're on bright yellow. Off. Okay, so never mind. I, I'm wrong. Huh. Go figure. It does actually remember your settings. So that's actually more convenient than I just gave it credit for. So my big problem with this thing is this tripod. That tripod is terrible. And I'll bring this tripod is terrible. It slips here. It slips up here. It's just not a good tripod. The ring light itself is fine. Um, the phone clamp that goes with it is fine. Uh, but the, the tripod, which is part of the deal, is n not fine. So I'm going to figure out a way to make this work in my studio. And I'll check in with you guys with the final result. Okay, so this is me testing the phone grip and the ring light on my face and it's not lined up in the middle usually you want it like in the middle um, but I didn't really buy it to be a beauty ring light so I don't really care about that all right so we're gonna cycle through the different lights and you guys can see how they affect my face so that's the cool light that's the warm light and then that's the medium light which kind of matches the rest of the lighting in this room and I cycle through them again Okay, it's at full brightness. Now it's fairly dim. We'll cycle through them again. And this thing sits pretty high. It's about a 
foot off the desk, you can adjust the phone mount on the main body of the tripod. Um, but if you want it real tall and you want the camera there, like if you were using it in a desk situation, like what I tried to do earlier, that's not going to work with this mount. So just keep that in mind should you decide to buy this thing. And here's a close up of the phone grip mechanism. That's what it looks like. And it's got a, I think it's got a ball mount. Yeah. So it can be twisted in several different orientations. Okay, so I got this thing to extend one more. So this is actually about how tall it'll be, which is about how tall I thought it would be. You guys can see the footprint is not insubstantial. Uh, you might have better luck with yours getting that smaller. You guys saw how much it slipped for me. Unfortunately, this thing as it is, is just not going to work. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that in a minute. But this is the height I wanted anyway. It would have been nice to have like a, you know, an extra piece of equipment, I guess. No, nah. it would have been nice to have like a good um, selfie setups for vlogging. But that wasn't really why I bought it anyway. I bought it for additional light in a space that I'm having some trouble lighting. So, to be real with you guys, the build quality on this thing is laughable. Like, 90% of the problems I've had with it are because it wants to collapse on itself or the ring light keeps popping off, leaving the brass fitting at the top. It's, it, it sure is a $30 ring light from Walmart, I'll tell you that. So, what I'm doing is I am going to tape the joint. See, it did it. Uh, tape the joints, and if you even look at it funny, it'll collapse on itself. And I really don't think I should have to do that, but you know, here we are. And uh, maybe you guys will learn a lesson from me and don't buy ring lights from Walmart for $30 in the like, obviously gimmick section. And I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me super well, I'm under the table taping joints but you know that's what you get when you purchase something out of pocket I didn't even buy this for review I just thought it would be cool to like review it as I set it up with y'all um, in case anybody else was looking for like recording studio equipment on a budget because ring lights on Amazon in the past even Niwar which is pretty affordable are like 200 bucks each in fact before I, just to make this video take even longer, uh, I'm going to look up Amazon ring light to just torture myself, you know, for fun. For fun. Okay, so now it's taped. Hopefully, it's not going anywhere. And then this thing has like, oh, okay. Ugh, this is so annoying because like, I like the idea, but I am not in love with the execution. Yeah, pop this thing back in and it acts like it doesn't want to go in except it flops off any chance it gets so couldn't have it go like that but I just want it to cast even more light and then I'm gonna thread it through the keyboard of course, then that'll make this annoying. What would almost be better? I get why they, um, I get why they did it like this because it makes it very portable. You can do field stuff with it, which is great. You're not tied to an outlet. That's me adjusting the brightness. Adjusting the color. And then I need to tape this down also so it's not all over the place. Okay, so what do I think of the Bauer 8 inch selfie ring light studio with 51 extendable, 21 inch extendable tripod and phone holder? 
I mean, I paid about 30 for it. The tripod's terrible, but you can use the ring light on other tripods, and it looks like at the top you can slot other things into it, like uh, like a like a boom mic shoe or anything that has like a shoe attachment foot would probably work with that. Um, it's about standard for what you would pay on like Amazon, so you know. Meow. Uh, will it provide extra light in the studio? Yes. So it's like right behind me. I'm going to fiddle with the light again just to see what it's like off and then on. Yeah, it, it provides a significant amount of additional light. How the cast shadow isn't that harsh. So, um, it's hard for me to say whether or not it's worth it because we have a really specific use case scenario here where we're looking at ring lights to light an art studio and to provide augmented lighting. So we're not talking about it from a beauty perspective. We're not talking about it from a vlogging perspective necessarily. I'm really disappointed that this thing, which is one of the cooler parts of the whole thing, it's on a ring joint. It is expandable, but only so much, and it's actually uh, well padded, and the build quality is decent. Honestly, this probably came from, like, the vent style that you put in your car. I have one of those that I can talk about as well. Um, I'm disappointed that this doesn't work with the tripod in its current iteration, because this was actually kind of cool. Uh, but I may be able to use it for other things. I hold on to these kind of things. It also came with uh, another bonus mount. I'm using that bonus mount right now, but I can show you guys again. Oh, well, not that important. Uh, it did come with like a bonus grip and that that's fine, but it doesn't really attach to the, the ring light itself. And, uh, the tripod takes up less space than some of the other ones I've seen online. I would say mm, maybe a foot and a half diameter at most. No, smaller than that. And a lot of the other tripods extend out a lot. You are going to have to, if you get the exact model that I have, you're going to have to tape the joints because they're really loose. And the build quality on the tripod and the mechanism that attaches into the ring light is really shoddily built. I like that it's USB. My keyboard, which doesn't provide a whole lot of power, can power the ring light. So, hey, I was not using those USB ports for anything else. So, I got to use for them now. And it also came with this free Bluetooth remote uh, remote shutter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fiddle around with this, but it's not really the sort of thing... Uh, I find useful because I would really want something a little more robust that is like just for Android and can actually shut the battery compartment because I can't shut the battery compartment on this thing. So um, you know studio lighting tends to be expensive. I usually, I do have some natural light lamps here in the studio. Um, those tended to be really expensive. They can be anywhere from 50 but I think I paid like. $50 for this op light a few years ago. I have a lot of op lights. A few years ago, um, from Joann's, I got it on sale to, uh, I have like a $100 op light just off camera. And then I have like a really nice studio lamp off camera as well. But honestly, you don't have to have like the perfect natural light lighting. I don't know who wants me so bad. I'm about to block them though. Um, I had some light bulbs and now I do not. LED light bulbs are getting a lot cheaper, a lot more accessible. They are more power efficient and they tend to last a lot longer. So when it comes to lighting your studio, that is usually a good way to go. Okay, so my desktop isn't set up for internet yet. So I brought my laptop in here and let's look up ring light. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Uh, this might be the exact same one and uh, wow it's got three cell phone clips I think this is no it's got a floor plug but otherwise it's the same yeah and th look y'all y'all uh, who needs that many phones y'all and a mirror my goodness so fancy yeah it's a lot like mine but not exactly like mine and it looks like it comes with two tripods oh you know that's a good point actually 
that this ring light could fit on a, any standard tripod really you don't have to use this one so if you've got a better tripod that takes up less space you go for it so this is 5756 but i think you get two tripods uh this one is 94 this one's 36 but the tripod looks so much better Although it would take up so much more space. But it also has a mount to put it in the center and mine does not. This one looks a lot like what I have. That is $39.99. Of course it's compatible with iPhone and Android like duh. This is nicer though. Uh, the snap together. See the snap uh, joints are less likely to just slide, unlike the one I have. It's also USB powered, so I paid about 30 for it, maybe 27, but 30 total with tax. So at least I didn't get totally scammed. I think the cheapest one is this one, and I feel like this one is just tiny. Of course, they have the cell phone ones, and I actually have one of these, and it is it just doesn't give you any light at all. But it looks like what I paid is pretty pretty standard on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it for less than like maybe AliExpress. And this isn't even one of the big ones either. They have like the really big ones that you can mount and then they also have like on the wall and then they have the really, uh, the ones with lots of different colors. So I thought this was gonna be like an exercise in pain because it was like, oh man, like ring lights used to be expensive but every time i go to look up something on amazon it's way cheaper than it was two months ago but uh no that's that's pretty standard i guess so the bauer ring light purchased at walmart like today so september 1st uh, 2020 i guess about worth 30 dollars. i wouldn't pay more than that you can find them at that price or maybe five dollars cheaper on amazon as well so if you're in the market for affordable studio lighting that can be versatile and can be used indoors and out and has the ability to travel with you because it's usb powered this sort of thing could be the way to go i'm going to pop some relevant links down in the description below they are amazon affiliate links so when you buy from them i do see a small bounty it does help this channel continue to grow so if you enjoyed this really really long review and found it helpful useful or informative and you want to buy something like this one please consider doing so using the links in the description